Mickey Mouse holding a gun is something Fortnite never would have added. This new chapter is breaking lots of old traditions. For example, lightsabers being pickaxes. Yeah, you heard me right. The most sought after cosmetic in history is not banned from Fortnite. Lightsabers have been weapons this whole time, despite countless pleas from fans begging them to release pickaxe versions. It is such a no brainer that we assumed Epic weren't releasing them because you would mistake a harvesting tool for a weapon. Well, that's until Ninja Turtles came out. We opened the set only to find that their pickaxes are identical to the mythic items, so I guess lightsaber pickaxes are back on the table. But we definitely weren't expecting Fortnite to go all in on Greek mythology. Most seasons have a specific theme or something that unites all the characters, so when we heard season 2 will be Greek themed, it was like, yeah, cool. Only for the Battle Pass lineup to include an insane amount of gods and mythological creatures. They are diving headfirst into this theme, not just with the Battle Pass skins, but the possible return of Midas, and new Greek POIs, and potential collabs that we could only dream of. The return of Kratos will be absolutely insane, especially if it's a young version from the classic games, but this could also tie in with the Disney crossover. We'll talk about Mickey and new Disney details later, but what about Hades from the Hercules movie? Now that would be interesting. Well, that's not the only new feature that has taken everyone by surprise. Lego Fortnite's only a couple months old, and Epic has already expanded it with new modes. We logged in this week only for a Lego Island stab to appear out of nowhere. Letting us experience creative modes made in UEFN, we can now play Raft Survival as a cute party game with friends, or for the Death Run lovers, there's a Lego Obby now. No one saw this coming, and to make it better, Epic has already said more islands are releasing in the future. Driftboards are one of the greatest vehicles we've ever had, but no one expected Fortnite to ruin them. The last time Driftboards were in-game, it was Fortnite OG, and they left them untouched. With Quad Crashers losing the ability to fly and Ballers getting fuel, Driftboards reign supreme, but now they've received a charge too. Why epic? Another insane surprise is logging in only to find influencers in the battle pass. I mean, yeah, there's always a shocking outfit, but the strangest one until this point was Neymar Jr. Most celebrities like LeBron, Mr. Beast, or Ninja were always regular item shop skins. We never thought a TikToker would get his own battle pass slot. That's what Cabby appeared, taking us all by surprise and causing a ton of backlash. A lot of players thought that someone who had never been a part of the Fortnite community shouldn't be in the battle pass. We haven't seen it happen again since, but hey, maybe Markiplier or someone equally as random will show up. Now, we all knew Lady Gaga was coming to Fortnite. It was a matter of when, not if. But after years of waiting from court leaks to emote teases, people began to think the crossover was too good to be true. The same happened with Family Guy, which was leaked 10 times more and still took forever to arrive. Both of these collabs are some of the most anticipated, maybe Epic were just spending time perfecting it, and now they're finally here surprising everyone. One thing's for sure, nobody remembers the insane reward Epic gave us. If you played the game back in 2019, you would know how strange everything was. Fortnite was literally the biggest thing in the world, more talked about than any movie, TV show, or game, so everyone was trying to copy it, especially Apex Legends, which was a huge threat to their success. I don't think I've ever seen a game developer be as scared of competition like Epic was, because they went far enough to give out free battle passes to everyone just to avoid losing players. How insane is that? Now, some decisions completely blow up in Epic's face. One of the best parts of Fortnite is their yearly traditions, whether it's a birthday, Fortnite Mares, or of course, Winterfest. You just don't expect them to stop all of a sudden, and yet in 2020, Epic revealed Operation Snowdown. There was little to no content, the free rewards required challenges to unlock instead of presents, and players were super disappointed. Now, to be fair, 2020 was a rough year, and it seems that Epic working from home all of a sudden destroyed a lot of plans. That, along with the backlash, made sure that Operation Snowdown will never happen again. And a big thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Obviously, I spend a lot of time playing Fortnite. Even when I'm not making videos, I'm always looking for topics, going to events, collabing with other YouTubers. It's a struggle. So this year, I've been focusing on myself and realized that I want to spend more time with family, manage my stress levels, and minimize feeling burned out. Sometimes you got to focus on your own needs. It's my main goal this year, and that's why I partnered with BetterHelp. Therapy is so important in this day and age, but it's also intimidating to meet in person. BetterHelp offers online therapy, and you don't even have to talk over video. They have a messaging option and a way to plan your sessions on your schedule. Go to betterhelp.com slash top five gaming to find over 30,000 therapists. Finding the right one is as simple as filling out a questionnaire and in most cases matching you with a therapist in as little as 48 hours. If they're not a great fit, don't worry. You can just find another one for absolutely no cost, ensuring you'll never have to go through a really awkward talk. If you're struggling with mental health issues, dealing with the stress of day-to-day -day life, or just need someone to talk to, BetterHelp is the perfect avenue. To join over 4 million people and get a special discount on your first month of therapy, visit betterhelp.com slash top five gaming or select top five gaming during your sign up process. I wish for all of you to become the best and happiest version of yourself. With that said, let's get back to the video.
A pleasant surprise was the announcement of Disney investing billions of dollars into Epic Games. Now they own 10% of the company, and it's all in the name of an upcoming Fortnite x Disney universe. After years of memeing how Mickey Mouse should be in the game, we never actually thought it would happen. But with this universe, you can literally see Monsters University, Wreck-It Ralph's apartment building, and the Magic Kingdom. The first of these appearances was Jack Skellington, whose town can be spotted in the image, and his universe is just one of many possibilities. You're telling me we could be running around with Mike Wazowski in a few years or grittying as goofy we never would joke about it but no one actually thought it would happen now when you have a game that's been successful for this long the last thing you'd expect is for epic to change it up if it ain't broke don't fix it right well they got bored of the storm one update and made it randomly destroy builds it absolutely ruined things so they scrapped it instantly and haven't touched it since they don't always reverse decisions though one of the biggest changes we have ever had was the brand new movement for chapter 5 it was getting outdated and with epic's vision for the future this decade-old running animation was was not cutting it. So they made everything more fluid and modern, but also slow, which was the main issue for players. Instead of just caving to their demands, Epic told us to get used to it and that they would speed it up. Well, that's until they nerfed it into the ground again. A surprise that was very controversial at the time was the decision to create an entire battle pass based on a collab. The Marvel season was such a rare occurrence and something that only Epic could have pulled off. At the time, players who didn't like Marvel were furious about this. They had to play an entire season while being advertised to. Looking back though, even non-MCU fans enjoyed this thanks to the amount of content, a huge live event, and just how fresh the game felt. Another reason it won't happen again is because Fortnite realized they don't need to replace the main battle pass for a collab. They could just have multiple at the same time. If you told a player in 2018 that we would have a festival pass, collab passes, and a rumored rocket racing pass, they would have laughed in your face. Gotta be honest, I'm just tired of saying the word pass, never mind buying them all. But the last thing we expected to be changed was the complete removal of an iconic feature. If I told you to think of classic Fortnite mascots, you'd probably choose a llama, the battle bus, maybe tilted, but also supply drops. It's part of the game's identity, and yet they were removed in chapter 4. Now they did return for the OG season, only to vanish again straight after. Fortnite did bring them back for the Turtles collab with a new design, which the community enjoyed, but we need the old ones back. Another item we thought was gone forever is OG Black Widow. Not only was she one of the rarest skins in Fortnite, but Epic had a new version that replaced her entirely. The OG skin never reappeared, with the fresh design always coming back to the store, until four years later. In November 2023, out of the blue, OG Black Widow was on sale and no one saw it coming. Not the only nostalgic feature to make a return. Let's be honest, the last thing we expected Fortnite to do was bring back the OG season. It really seemed like we had moved on, and Epic is fully focused on the metaverse and its future. Well, as we're learning from this video, Fortnite isn't like anything else. They keep doing things that no one expects, like making an OG season dedicated to your own game. Sometimes it's hard to forget that this is teen rated, and this rating has affected creative maps, crossovers, even censoring music and live events. So with this in mind, players have always thought Epic would never bring R-rated collabs to the game. There are some exceptions like John Wick and Deadpool, but they were known mostly as anti-heroes, not serial killers like Michael Myers. Nowadays, it's pretty awesome that anything can become a skin. Speaking of censoring music, we now have more songs than ever coming into the game, with weekly jam tracks flooding the item shop. But there is a catch, something no one expected. Music packs are turning into playable songs, causing their price to jump from 200 V-Bucks to 500. We never thought music packs would become more expensive over the years, but we also never expected them to get a new purpose. So let me know how you feel about it below. Now I understand removing supply drops, changing drift boards, even redesigning movement. But when it comes to Fortnite, there's literally one thing that you just don't touch. Building. It's what separates the game from any other battle royale, yet that was also its biggest problem. People loved all the other elements of BR, but hated the skill gap when it came to building. We just never expected Epic to straight up remove it. Not only did they give a zero build, they banned everyone from placing builds for weeks. What an insane gamble. Another feature that we totally gave up on was leaked for years. Since chapter one, Fortnite had been working on weapon attachments and they just kept reappearing time and time again. We were so tired of seeing fresh leaks for sniper scopes or silencers, especially when we have been let down by the promise of weapon charms and custom battle buses. We accepted this would never happen only for chapter 5 to drop attachments out of nowhere. Thank you Epic. Uh, still not as shocking as the latest Fortnite concert which brought Eminem to the game. A lot of years have passed since Slim Shady dominated headlines, but he is still notorious for being one of the most controversial rappers of all time. In his music he would rap about insane topics, encouraging his fans to do things that would get me demonetized, okay? So for him to appear in Fortnite, I was pretty surprised. Just like the decision to make chapters a yearly occurrence. When they changed Fortnite's map, it was such a big deal that we thought they would get years out of them. But then every December, they just kept coming and coming. More 
chapters until eventually even live events were changed. Instead of one every couple months, we only get finale events to end the chapter. At least that's happening yearly, unlike the World Cup, Fortnite's most popular event to date. Not only did they break their own records, they broke esports records, becoming the largest tournament, prize pool, and most watched final on Twitch. Booga became an overnight star, even appearing on Jimmy Fallon. You just don't see this happen with other games. The World Cup was such a big deal that we all assumed it would return. But with the pandemic and Epic's court cases, it seemed like a $100 million tournament just isn't the priority right now. One member of the Icon series is Travis Scott, or at least he was because Travis has never returned to the item shop since Astronomical happened. Because of the Astroworld tragedy, we all assumed Travis was banned from Fortnite and they wanted to avoid controversy. But then, the CEO of Epic Games confirmed he was always welcome to return and they had no problem with it. So in my opinion now, it's just a matter of time. If you're expecting a countdown though, I wouldn't get your hopes up. The last thing we thought Epic would remove was the item shop timer. I'm not joking, despite the fact that it resets at the same time every day, they got rid of the countdown. It's left a lot of players confused as to whether they're staring at the latest item shop or one that's about to reset. Anyway, if you want to learn more about Fortnite Season 2, click on screen right now. It's Batami and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.